Right in this moment, TBS started their product launch live stream and I'm finally allowed to share this video with you guys. It's about their newest addition to their lineup of remotes, the TBS Mambo. It's a budget, full-sized, OpenTX based radio that comes with Tracer inside. Oh, and at this point you might wonder what's the deal with all those dance names? Because it's a precise dance with two sticks. What we are looking at is a prototype unit. There were a few minor changes for the production unit, but what you're seeing here is not off by very much. Final ones are going to have a darker finish, two little knobs on the back that will add to its grip and a much nicer black scroll wheel with a new design. Like I said before, Mambo has Tracer built in the 2.4G link by TBS, back of released in October 2020 with a 250Hz refresh rate and a 3 millisecond latency, makes the TBS Tracer one of the fastest radio links with telemetry in our galaxy. But let's get right into the specs. What we immediately notice is the Mambo features classic switches like you know from radios like the X9D or the QX7. It's powered by 18650 batteries, which are not included though. It's got an audio jack and a USB-C port on the bottom, which is used for charging, updating via Agent X, SD card access and game control functionality for simulators. There is a JR bay on the back and my favorite feature, the enclosed antenna. On the inside, there is a 2.4 version of the famous diamond antenna. This built-in antenna solution works flawlessly for arrays of usual freestyle range. And let's say if you intend to go for a serious long range mission, you can also mod it for an external antenna. You will basically have to drill a hole in the top shell and get the optional RPSMA cable installed if you want to use Mambo with Peter the Pen. It comes with four three pass switches and two knob switches on the top. Now, although it looks similar to T2 in regards to the shoulder buttons, there is a little difference here. The one on the left here is a two pass switch and on the right side is a momentary button though. That was weird for me at first because it was so used to the Tango 2, but after adapting to it, it kind of makes sense. You only need that short term press button when using turtle mode. A few more things to mention. There's also going to be a nostalgia shell available later, not at launch. And I'm pretty sure that's going to look really, really sweet on that larger remote now. And of course, there's going to be a Mambo starter set that has three receivers included. It's a pretty sweet deal because you get three receivers on top of the remote at almost half the cost. There won't be a Mambo Pro, but a FX Mambo edition that comes in a different look and a few upgrades like a cray finish, a foldable stand, different stick ends and crippier sides, and also a sended button that goes up to 11. Love it, it's ridiculous. All right, so who is this remote for? I'd say there's three potential customers. First, you're in the market for a new remote, but you don't like the Tango 2 form factor. Second, you already own a X9D or QX7 with Crossfire, and you've been eyeing Tracer. Now you could switch over and keep your existing module. And third, you're a complete newcomer to the FPV hobby. I've come to a point where I would suggest Tracer over Crossfire. It's a fast and reliable link based on the Crossfire protocol. And if you're not mainly doing cinematic jobs or long range flying, I think it is the better option right now. Am I personally gonna switch to Mambo? Most likely, well, kind of already did. I've been flying it exclusively for almost half a year now and I really like that there's no external module needed and it just it's just one unit. I know you can add Tracer to the back of the Tango 2, but that kind of killed the super portability of it and it was a crutch, at least to me it was. All right, that's it for now. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know in the comments, what's your opinion on the remote? Do you like the look? What do you think about Tracer? Or if you have any questions left, post them in the comments below and I'll see you soon.